Hey everyone and welcome to the club. Today I'll be showing you how to draw Clefairy from Pokemon. Let's get started with the eyes. I'm going to start with an oval on the left side, starting from the top, curve down, and then back up to the top. Let's leave a gap in the middle and do the same thing on the right. So we're going to line up the top, curve down to the bottom, and then back up to the top. Then we're going to add a little tiny oval at the top for a highlight. So just touching the top of the eye, do the same thing on the right side. Now we're going to draw a half circle along the bottom for a highlight. Trim on both sides like that. And let's color the middle area in black. On the sides of the eye, we're just going to draw a little curve for a little wrinkle. So on the left side, we'll draw a curve like that. Same thing on the right. So we're just following the curve of the eyes. In between the eyes, just down below here, we're going to draw a little curve for the top of the mouth going across. Now we're just going to do a little slight overlap and draw the bottom of the mouth. So stepping over towards the right, come down to the bottom of the mouth, and then curve and tuck that in underneath the right side. On the right side here, we're going to draw a little fang. So it's almost like a long V. And then about halfway down the mouth, we're going to draw a curve from left to right for the tongue. Underneath each of the eyes, we're going to draw a horizontal oval for the cheeks. So starting on the left, circle around to the right, and then back up to the top, we'll do the same thing on the right side. Starting at the top, coming around, and then back up to the top. Let's move up to the top of the head and draw on the big swirl. So just above the right eye, we're going to step up right here, draw a curl, going around, it's almost like a circle, coming around the middle, and then back in towards the center. On the right side here, we're going to step up from that tip and just curve over on the right. We'll do the same thing on the left. So lining this up, curving over towards the left. This is the top of the head. Now let's draw the top edge of the ears. So from this point, curve up and out towards the left. And then from this point, we're going to curve up and out towards the right. Now the body is a big circle. So we want to bring in the ears just to the side of the body here. So starting on the left side, we're going to curve down and towards the side of the body. We'll do the same thing on the right side. So curving down and then in. From here, we're going to layer in the arms on top of the body here. So we're going to start on the left side, just at the bottom of the ear, we're going to draw a curve. From the outside, we're going to curve over that line and then pull that in. In here, we're going to step up and just draw a little wrinkle line like that. Let's draw in some fingers. So from this point, we're going to do a hard point going up and then just pulling it down. We're going to go out this way with the same thing. So going out towards the fingertip and then down. Now we're going to draw a little short line to the next finger. We draw that same curve, so it's a little bit of a rounded point. It comes down here. Now from these two points, we want to connect it with a curve. And then from these two points, we want to connect it with two straight lines coming to a point. Now at the bottom of this finger, we're going to curve the bottom of the arm in towards the center of the body. So curving down, and then just pulling that into about there. Let's take that arm and do the same thing over on the right side. Starting on the inside here, we're going to curve up and then out. Now we're going to draw on the first finger, going up to a rounded point, and then down. Let's draw the second finger. Now this one's going to go out this way. So going up to a rounded point, down. We'll draw that short line to bridge the fingers. And we'll draw another curve for the second finger there. In between these two points, we're going to draw a curve to connect it. And in between these two points, we're going to come in towards a point. Let's draw that little wrinkle on the side here, just curving across like that. At the bottom of this finger, again, we're going to come in towards the body for the bottom of the arm, coming in to right about there. Now that we have the arms in place, we can draw on the sides of the body here. So right where the ear meets the arm, we're going to continue this curve. We're just going to curve up, aiming towards that point there. So this point is going to curve across and then down in behind the arms. We're going to draw in the inner ear. So from this point, we're going to curve in and then down to this line. So there's a slight overlap on that line there. Do the same thing on the right, so curving down and out. Along the top, we're just gonna draw a little separation trim. So right up here, just draw a curve across like that. We'll do the same thing on the right side. Now that we've got the upper part of the body, let's work our way down towards the legs. So from this point in the arm, we're gonna step over towards the left, so there's a slight overlap, and curve down and in. We'll do the same thing on the right, so right here, Overlap the arm, 
down towards the bottom at the same height. We want to round out the bottom of the feet and come up in the middle. But before we do that, we're going to draw on the bottom of the body here. So the body is basically a circle. We want to imagine the lower part of the body coming right about here. So from left to right, we'll draw a curve coming down the middle, back up on the right side. Now, going back to the left side here, we're going to round out the tip of the foot and then pull that in underneath the body. We want to make sure there's a little gap in the center here. On the right side, we'll round out the bottom of the foot, pull that up, and at the bottom here, we're just going to draw a little trim. So like a half circle at the bottom of the feet on both sides. And to finish this off, we're going to draw on the tail. So from the bottom of the arm, we're going to curve in towards the leg. So curving out and pulling that in. On the side here, we're just going to draw another curve, a little tiny one going across like that. And that's pretty much it. There we have it. There's Clefairy from Pokemon. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Make sure you subscribe and check out our Pokemon playlist. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.